Hey, this is Thy Kusk. Um, what am I going to say? What am I gonna do? Anyways, um, this video is gonna be something, alright? It is an update. Um, I, was, I haven't been feeling well recently. It's mostly, like, I did have pains. Like, you know, I don't even know. Like, I have pain in my back and stuff. I don't really know how to explain it. It's like on the back of my shoulder blades, if that makes sense. And you know, just, and I do have it like in my knees too, so, and my ankles. So like that's basically what's happening, like I just have been like experiencing like extreme pains and like fatigue. And also I had some allergic reactions, so I was just like, yep, I'm not going to upload because I have no energy to. And I couldn't really do schoolwork. I just want to throw that out there. Really, the only thing we do is like walk back and forth for like 15 minutes. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say to that. Um, I hope you understand. I might upload videos every Sunday now. Who knows? But anyways, this is going to be an update. Also, I want to say I'm very sorry for all the drama. I want to, you know, I'm going to be talking about my... Now description box, I'm not going to edit my past videos. I'm sorry about that. I did delete my astrology blog because I did get into some drama by accident. Like, I thought I was doing the right thing. Yeah, no. I just never really fit in with that crowd, so I kind of understand that. <laughs> and I kind of understand how I read them wrong and they read me wrong. Well, they didn't read me wrong. I read them wrong and, like, totally let my emotions take charge. And I'm very sorry about that. And I mean that in the sincerest way. Um, people who like kind of got involved with that kind of just don't understand that I am a little too honest and I kind of understand that because I did mention some personal things and you know I'm, I'm comfortable mentioning personal things because I'm like it's either everyone knows or no one knows when it comes to me so yeah that's the thing um let's see what else also like what's it my voice I sound sarcastic when I'm not and when I sound serious it's when I'm sarcastic. I don't understand it. Or I'm just really good at being sarcastic. I don't know, man. I really don't. So, I just want to say, I mean this in the most sincerest way, okay? Alright? You get it. You got it. Good. Um, let's see, I also changed my Instagram, like my second one, to Grand Earth Vinyl. Earth is still spelled with a three. It isn't not Grand Earth Try anymore. It's Grand Earth Vinyl. And obviously I'm going to be spinning my 59 vinyl babies. And that's just what's gonna go down, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna show you my two newest collect- like, two newest editions. Um, I do want to say I'm getting four more soon. I don't know what three of them are gonna be, but I'm getting the Blood Album by AFI. And I do love the basic pressing of it. It is red and black and it actually- and some of them do look like blood. I hope I get one that looks like blood and actually like marbles correctly, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, I really hope I get one that marbles correctly because that would be beautiful. Um, let's see. I also, since it is a VNYL order, I do hope I get like Dreamers because I did listen as one of my favorite bands, but I know I'm not going to get Dreamers. So I hope I, I told them to give, give me Night Terrors 9 to 27. I don't think they're going to do that, but it's okay. <laughs> you know, as long as I get something, I'm good. Honestly, if it's new, if it's old, um, as long as I like it, I'm okay. I, I think I'm not gonna buy another box for a while because, you know, money, but yeah, I had a positive experience so far. It's just, I don't like free shipping. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I'm going to show you, um, some, you know, vinyl. Anyways, this is gonna be the first one I'm gonna show you. Got this one, like, recently. Um, Guilt Parade 714 on Discogs was selling this. It is Rome's Backbone. I, like, kicked myself for a while from not getting this because it isn't one of my favorite pop-punk albums. I didn't realize that because I didn't really listen to Rome. Like, I was just browsing Warp Tour because I had nothing to do with this Warp Tour. Like, you know, Warp Tour 2016. I had, like, an awful time there because I didn't know what to do. There was, like, less spans, less stages. So I just, like, walked around and bought a ton of CDs and hoped that I liked them. And Rome's Backbone was one of them. I've <laughs> bugged my mom with it. I've bugged everyone else with it because I just love this album. 
and I just loved listening to it. So I, was, so I kicked myself that I did not get the vinyl copy since I thought it was standard black, so I'm like, eh. And if you don't know, I kind of like stay away from standard black copies of vinyl to keep my vinyl collection short. And that's why I don't have my second favorite album in my collection because of that, just throwing that out there. If you're wondering why I have a lot of colored vinyl, that's why I wanted to keep my vinyl collection short. Anyways, um, it also keeps me from spending money, so yeah. Anyways, this is on colored vinyl. It is not on the pressing that Warp Tour was selling. Well, not Warp Tour, but like Rome at Warp Tour were selling. It is, um, I think, a pressing from. I want to say Hopeless. Yeah, Hopeless. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not record um, company savvy or record label savvy. That's the right word. Label. I'm not savvy on that, so I'm sorry about that. Anyways, I think this is like their exclusive of it. I don't know. Not exclusive, but like their version. Um, it is yellow and blue with red splatter. Side A looks better. So, yeah, I, I thought I would get another pressing of it. That was just like, that was a tricolor of all the colors, but that didn't happen. But I'm okay with that. He did tell me, or like they, she, I don't know what was talking to, <laughs> but whoever I was talking to from that account told me that they had this copy instead and um, miss, you know, labeled what they were selling. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, it's totally cool. So, yeah, I mean, I got my favorite album, well, my favorite pop punk album on vinyl, so I'm pretty cool with that. I did want to see, I do want to see them live. I know they're playing with As It Is, but I'm going to a concert the day they're playing in Massachusetts. So I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Um, I'm going to see the main that day and Beach Weather's there and the Mowgli's. So I'm just like, the Mowgli's were um, more of a 12 year old hood favorite. I don't know their newer stuff, so I'm pretty duped. <laughs> um, so yeah, my friend loves the main, so. I'm going with my friend. Anyways, um, this one is Cloud Nothings by, no, Cloud Nothings. <laughs> All right, I have some, uh, I, yeah, really good, good job, Koos. You just brain farted. Um, Life Without Sound by Cloud Nothings. Um, this one is standard black. I did get it off, um, what's it, Urban Outfitters because I had a gift card for them. This is the only thing I could afford that I wanted. I was, like, debating about this or fruit on white, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get Cloud Nothings because my friends love this band and I should get into them, so I'm gonna get it on standard black, whatever, it's 17 bucks, I don't care. Um, also, what else? Because I wanted to get How to Be a Human Being or Zaba by Glass Animals, but I couldn't. I love Glass Animals. And you know, I love How to Be a Human Being. It is an amazing album. One of my faves from 2016. One of my faves from my friend, like, uh, like, it is a favorite album of my friends as well, so I was, like, hyped to get that finally, but I didn't because, like I said, I try not to get standard black vinyl, so when I saw it, it was only copying Newberry Comics, but I didn't get it because it was standard black and I kind of wanted a different color, but really the only thing, the only thing that How to Be Human Being is press on is black, so I didn't really know that. Um, there's, like, a gatefold, there's, like, a gatefold version, there's a 2LP version with the gatefolds. Um, I think there's one 2LP version without a gatefold. There's like signed versions of the 2LP one. And then there's a blue one from Vinyl Monkey, I think. Or Vinyl Me Please. I'm not sure which one. So obviously, you know, it was like the single one that was at Newberry Comics. And I didn't get it because I wanted to get a colored one. And I did. I don't know which one it was. Because uh, I think it was Andrew Jackson. Yeah, it's nope. AJJ. Sorry for that other brain farts. The Bible, too. And that is actually one of my favorite vinyl that I own, so it's actually really pretty. And I spin it a lot so you know how it looks like. <laughs> um, anyways, Life Without Sound. It has a very nice vinyl, like sleeve. It is standard black, though, because I'm just like, my friends like this band, so I'm gonna get it. Um, and I do enjoy this album. It's like, um, 
Cody for me since this album's this album is 37 minutes, nine songs, and Cody's like 10 songs in like 30 minutes. I don't know how long Cody is by Joyce Manor, but <laughs> they're both short albums, so they kind of like. But obviously, this is more aggressive, and I don't even know which ones. Yeah, this is more like this is more clean than Cody, obviously more aggressive music wise like their Joyce Manor and Cloud Nell things are totally not the same so I'm not comparing it music wise I'm comparing it length wise so it's like short spins you know anyways I just really enjoy this vinyl sleeve I can get the vinyl out and it's like fancy and that's just all what I need because I like it when um they just have like the standard paper ones because or like the Wintam Hill um plastic ones because I just don't know how to um, take apart the laminate ones easily, like take the vinyl out of the laminate ones. I do have an awesome wave and um, what's it, Charmer, you know, awesome wave by Alt-J, Charmer by Tiger's Draw, and they have that and it's just really difficult to get out. I have like other ones too, I think I have Back on Top by The Front Bottoms also has that and it's just rough, alright. And also I have like the plastic ones for like EPs and I got those too. Like they're rough to get out. <laughs> but yeah, this one you can easily get the vinyl out, you can easily spin it, it's all cool. And it's a short spin and you know I enjoy both of these albums. Obviously my favorite pop punk album. Um, a new one that my friends enjoy, like my friends like Cloud Nothing so I got it. And yeah, that's all I want to do in this video. Hopefully I didn't swear. And hopefully, um, things are okay. I hope you have a nice day. It is really nice out here. It's 50 degrees. I'm like, yo, dude, I need to get outside and have some fun. And by fun, I mean walk in the woods and probably screech at a random bird. No, no, I'm kidding. I don't do that. Anyways, peace out. <laughs>